Hello YouTube. Today we've got a little bit of a shorter video here. Um, I just wanted to quickly get help help spread the news. If uh, those of you who may not uh, keep up with the updates on Steam or in the Discord, um, there's been a patch and some some updates out for Executive Assault 2. Um, today we've got the map editor update. So let's go take a look and see uh, see what that entails. So, uh, if we come over here to the map editor. Alright. Uh, that's my dog whining in the background. So, sorry if you guys could hear that. Um, so come over into the map editor you can see that it kind of looks much the same as it ever did um, so you might be asking you know where's uh, where's the updates but all the updates can be seen if we come up here we click this mode right here it says advanced mode boom and there you go you can see all the nice new options so we can click on a system now we can make it a starter system make it a colony system and you have a command outpost in it you can add up to two derelicts per system you can add small asteroids and large asteroids of each resource and the other cool thing that's happened is that you know you've always been able to uh, right click drag to connect the systems together but now you can add wormhole connections by holding shift and right click dragging and you can even have systems that are completely cut off from the other systems and are only accessible except by wormhole. This, of course, adds uh, tons of new options for map making. Um, for example, if we come over here, I made just a quick nice and easy one symmetrical 1v1 map um, with some safe systems or some wormhole systems and a colony system in the middle with custom resources on each and every system to make it as balanced as possible you can also do crazy asymmetrical maps um, with wormholes and all kinds of cool things um, so there's really no limit to uh, to what you can do now with the map maker um, which we're hoping leads to a lot more games because a lot of the times people's complaints were that, you know, the, uh, the custom editor didn't always, uh, work out because some people might end up with more gas than the other, or more metal, or any number of different things could happen. Um, so the hope now is that this will lead to some really balanced matches, um, and some really good games, depending on how creative people are with the map maker. Um... There's been a few other small changes as well. Let's uh, let's read over some of these other changes and and what they mean. So, a um, few quality of life changes have been made, including the ability to uh, to shift click um, the fabricate button in unit design to make five of that design. You can also shift right click on a design in queue to remove five constructions. Um, there's bound boxes for the um, minimum and maximum height for player-controlled starfighters to prevent people from just f sitting underneath asteroids and providing infinite intel. Uh, let's see. I believe that's some of the major changes... Uh, the game has been optimized to run a little bit faster. Um, uh, let's see. Quality of life changes. I think that's the majority of the changes here. The big, that's the big ones. The Oh, uh, super weapons will no, at low power or that will now stop charging. That's That's been fixed. Um, some teleprobes have been adjusted a little bit where they weren't correctly displaying certain data 
Um, just little things like that. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's quite interesting. Um, I've been kind of excited to see, um, oh goodness, excuse me. It's kind of excited to see some of the new, new stuff that can come out. Another thing is, is that the, uh, the AI has been correctly adjusted to take advantage of the wormholes. Um, and also, every faction has been granted wormhole technology at Tech 3, or their, their last promotion, as it were. Um, the one that would normally give them access to the Zeo gas weapons. Um, so that now every faction can use the wormhole tech. This was done in order to, uh, to add a level of fairness to the wormhole tech, since people could acquire it by chance via the trader. Um, it felt like it would be unfair to have isolated systems that some people may get access to while others may not due to the randomness of the trader. Um, but you can see that the random map gen also now shows wormhole connections. Um, in addition to the stuff that it already did before. And if we load up, we can see that uh, the map maker works just fine with the new custom systems and that's all well and good uh, all all the good things um, let me know what you think if you guys have any comments suggestions ideas for this map maker things you want to see now that we can uh, have some some interesting games you can see I've already worked on a few a few interesting ideas without spoiling too much here we've got some this 2v1 map inspired by uh, Supreme Commander 2 map. Any of you who have seen some of my other content may be familiar with it, actually, or those of you who are in my Discord. Um, so maybe look forward to that in the future. Um, and yeah, we'll... Uh you guys can most certainly expect to see some more Executive Assault 2 content in the very near future. Uh, because, yeah, we've got lots of things to do now. So, uh, with that, I'll, uh, I'll leave this one here. Nice and short. Well, like, eight, nine minutes, I think. Something like that. Um, and, uh, and we will see you guys in the next one. I just wanted to put this update out real quick. Let you guys know what was going on and when the new Executive Assault 2 content is coming. Um, and, and indeed that it is, in fact, coming. So... There you go. Um, yeah. Until next time. Goodbye.